Hey, what's up? This is your boy Thirsty Jack, and I'm back. And something I want to do totally different is called Thirsty Life. And this is kind of like a mixture of motivation, um, something that help you out through doing your work, um, school work, or sometimes, you know, personal life. And something I always want to do, because since I'm doing a uh, basic true story, of which I'm scrapping it and put this together for this Thirsty Life topic. And this topic uh, I'm going to talk about is personally for myself and hopefully people can relate to this is wearing a, a heart on your sleeve what that mean is and you care so much and you love so much but in my in my situation is mine a little bit different um, the reason I care so much and I, I love so much to certain people who I care about it's because I just don't want to live with regret again. Um, a long time ago, back in 2000, I want to say 2008, but it was 2009. I remember it was 2009. And I have a very, very dear close friend of mine. And her, her name is Ariel. God bless her soul. And we were all real good, good close friends. I mean, we, you know, stay up late, talk about anime, we talk about wrestling. And even, you know, we were both writers. We used to stay up late and do freestyle writing all the time. And and we were so, so, so fucking close, man. And a couple months later, or two a year, we kind of, like, you know, lost in touch. You know, lost contact afterwards. And... How like close to like a half a year or so, you know, she contacted me and it's like we like we never left. And we we talk and we talk some more. And I remember it was like it was like July. It was close to July. And I remember I remember like that I would never get this. It was like a certain night in my heart was telling me, you know, to tell her that that, that I love her because we, we, we were friends we had close close friends but I hesitated um, I just don't want you know I mess with the girl friendship I hesitate I didn't tell I love her but I tell uh, but I say um, you know we, we were close so days and weeks you know I haven't heard from her so I woke up in the afternoon a phone call called me uh, Old boy, I haven't, heard, I haven't talked to him for a while. He hit me up, you know, Tim, what's going on? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then next, you know, he told me, he say, I would never forget this. Hey, man, your old girl died. And I'm sitting like, what do you mean? And that old boy just dip on left. So I went to the living room, check out, you know, the internet, you know, because we had no newspaper at the time. We had to check out the internet. Check out what's going on. Check out the news, and sure enough, her name popped up, and I found out she passed away um, with a health compilation, a health problem. Excuse me. And I was I was devastated. I was heartbroken because at that moment I should have say that word. You know, I should have said I love her. From my heart, because you know I very care for her, but I failed to do that. But she knows that I care about her, she, and we we care about each other because we were close friends. So like, a couple months later, you know, not months later, but like a couple days later. At that time, I tried talking to somebody, you know, someone to be there for me, but nobody is there for me, you know. And at the time, I had that, you know, I don't give a fuck attitude. And I was carrying that for like a couple of days, you know. I was like, I was a lone fucking wolf. Until I, until I met, you know, a great other great brother, you know, Brian. Big shout out to Brian, and a couple of great friends, and it really built me up. And that made me, you know, a better person just to care more. And that's what I'm doing right now. Every day, you know, I, I. That's why I love hard. That's why I care hard, and 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 that's what I do, you know, and. Of course, when I meet people, either from public or work or whatever, I talk to them, I see them on Facebook, I always leave a message, I say, hey, you know, what's up, how's it doing, how you going, and I always do that, just, you know, 
check up on them or just somebody to talk to, you know, and sometimes, you know, when some people I see them on Facebook and sometimes I'm guilty of myself, I sometimes I didn't talk to them because I've been busy with my own stuff, but I'm trying, you know, to, to talk and see how everybody's doing. And even on, on Facebook, you know, I try to talk to them on Facebook messages and so see how they're doing and and, you know, be a good person. Even though I well, I hate, I hate people saying, oh, I'm a good person, but I'm a good person. And I'm not just saying that, but by my action, you know. And even I open up my heart up and give my heart to these people who I care about. Very few limited people. Because sometimes you got to be careful who you give your heart to. Because you got some sneaky bastard out there. And, sneak, and, and some fake bastard and fake little bitches. You know, and trust me, I've seen them, I fuck with them, and, 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 well, I don't fuck with them, but, you know, you got some people out there. So that's, that's the people you gotta watch out for. But, those are people who I care about and who I, you know, share my heart with, those people I care. And that's why I put my heart on my sleeve all the time. Because you never know that person may need someone to talk to or a simple of, a good friendly chat that will make their day very special a, a simple of of hi or a simple of hello a good long conversation not that short ass bullshit conversation you know people who do that fuck y'all <laughs> you know what I'm saying and, and that's how I feel about that but from my, from my personal experience you know tell them that you love them Tell them that you care about them when they are here. And that's my message from, you know, tell them that you care about them. Tell them about, you know, you love them. Either your friends or girlfriend or boyfriends, you know, either way, tell that. Because you never know that person might be, might laugh or you never know that person might be down or depressed. Because trust me, I've, I've been down those roads and, and trust me, I've been down those depressions and even darker road in which I will explain my next video when the time is right but for from that being said you know just it you know, just be there for one another you know care for one another and show some love and, and also when you see that person care about that other person or care about them about them don't be an ass clown don't be rude don't you know don't do that shit Cause you do that, you you a bitch ass motherfucker, man. I know this. I know this YouTube supposed to be family friendly, but I gotta keep it one hundred. You dig? So, you know, show that person some love. You know, that person opened up to man. And, 